Yes, people, welcome back to the channel. We are here outside the Emirates with the main man, Lee, Mr. Arsenal, Tony Adams himself. He is a bit, isn't he? He needs to go and do some work and out. He needs to get back on Strictly. Um, listen, um, transfer window, only a few days away from closing. Um, give me an overall so far of what you've made of this window because I see a lot of difference in the fan base. Some aren't panicking, some are chilled, some are relaxed, some are trusting Mr. Redu and Mr. Arteta. Um, some are absolutely losing their heads and panicking and going, we've only got a few days left, we've got so much work to do. Where you at? Well, look, listen, I, at the moment, I'm I'm quite relaxed. I'm going to be really, really... How I see it is if they bring in the forward of, of whoever it is, I will look at it and go, yeah, well done. And it'll be a really, really good transfer window because we've strengthened the squad. I, it's very, very hard to strengthen the team, but strengthen the squad. But I will look at it and go, if, if Arsenal don't do anything and they've let Eddie go and they've let um, Smith Rowe go and... and, and I'm going to say like that's unnecessary pressure brought on, you know. Like I don't think that you need need to have done that. They're going to put pressure on on themselves. Now, if they were to go and buy the striker, it doesn't mean to say we're going to win the league, all right? But at least you turn around to yourself and say, do you know what? Showed we've, ambition. We've tried. Yeah. We've had a go. Yeah. But if they don't do anything, and they don't win this league, I think they're putting unnecessary pressure on themselves. Uh, and I'm going to say it now, justified, mm. justified. I've, I've backed them all the way, but I'll tell you what, I, I, I will be very, very disappointed if they don't. When you say them or they, uh, who are you referring to? Is it all of them as a collect? Is it the Cronkies? Is it the board? Is it the ownership together as the manager? Like, where, where do you kind of point the fingers at here? Because they always say it's all of us, it's a team, but we've got one of them, the ownership that are providing the funds. We've got the board that are looking at the negotiation team with their do and transfer market. And then you've got the manager who's selecting the players he wants. Like, who, Where do we point the fingers at here? The, the, the whole lot. Okay. Because I'll tell you what, like, you know, when I spoke to Edo, you know, Edo, you know, Edu, He's actually said, it's all of us. Yeah. You know, it's a collective. It's the fans, it's the, the players, it's everybody. We're all in it together. And I think that is the, the thing. So you can't just start blaming one person for this and one person, giving this person for the, the, the credit and all that. Like Edu takes a lot of credit for the way I watch the team being coached and, and everything like that. But I do think that I, even on Saturday, I'm looking at if, if things were to go wrong in that game, what, 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 what options did he have other than Trossard? You know, uh, Eddie, well, you're taking Eddie out of that equation now. Who's coming in to, you know, when you're 1 0 down? You know, because, you, you know, Jesus is not, um, I think Jesus has done us a favour by getting injured now because he's just. Blessing in disguise. Blessing in disguise <laughs> because you're going to turn around and say, well, he's not going to be there all the time. So I think there's very, very important things that are. That are that are needed on that. Like, so I blame them. I would be I would be blaming them all. Now at the end of it, and one of the things I'm going to say, to you, like money side of it, financial side, I'm not caring about it. I, I I spend a lot of money to come here, as every fan does. We've we've come here today and around the ground. There's people from Australia, New Zealand, all travelling, all, all putting their money in, saving, scrimping, and saving to get to watch this football club. Don't be doing it yourselves. Mm. You know, you, you've got to get in. Give us a give us the We've got a fantastic opportunity to win the league. Give us the right tools to go and achieve that. Like, and I, I'm, I'm wondering if Arsenal were going to spend, when they spent 80 million on a striker and we end up not winning the league, I, I would turn around and go, well, we, what else can we do? We've tried. But don't put me in the thing going, well, we haven't, we haven't given it, we haven't done this. And there's been too many times in the past that Arsenal haven't done that, have not shown a lack of ambition. Please, we're in a position now where we can go on, move to this fantastic stadium for moments in a mm. transfer window like this. Now, at the end of the day, it won't be the end of the world if we don't get it because we've still got a very, very good team. But you're playing four more Champions League games now. Like you have, if you look at the Champions mm. League now, January, you've got to go, you know, you've got, it's January, like you play Christmas and then you've got January, which is a tough, tough time. You've got another two Champions League games in that, like, you know. So I think it's massive that Arsenal make sure they get the right right job done personally I think that they will do mm. what about you I, I think we're going to get a forward I don't know who it's going to be I don't know what position it's going to be if it's going to be a striker one that can cover all three or if it's going to be an out and out winger the reason I want a striker is because if Jesus is fit he can cover for Saka and we have seen Martinelli go over there I don't think we've got anything up top other than Havertz at the moment Eddie's now gone Jesus can't show himself that he's fit a number nine is he a number nine? Not for me. I think Jesus has had better games at Arsenal from the wide positions. When he does play in the nine, he's over there anyway. I think for me, we need an out-and-out -out striker. I don't know who it is. I've, I can shout names. Victor Osimhen, Victor Jokeres, Victor 
Victor, Victor, Victor. Um, battle of the Victors, isn't it really? But yeah. I, I do feel like we do need one of them to come in because I feel like that's what we need. Um, listen, let's talk about what we have actually done because Calafuri has come in and Mikel Moreno has come in. Now, I personally feel like they're two good signings because it actually allows our left-hand side to be a little bit more settled. Last season, we saw a different left-back every game. We saw a different left eight every game. Martinelli and Trossard and Gabriel were the only really two players or three players on that side that were actually set in stone. There was no sustainability. We never knew who was going to play at left back or at left eight. Now, sometimes that's good because you've got to obviously use your, your tools for different games. I think these two players, once they do get settled, will be set in stone. And that right-hand side that's so set will now look like that left-hand side. So the two that have come in, Lee, I'm okay with. Oh, yeah, without doubt. Very, very good. Strengthens the whole side up. Strengthens the squad up. Squad's got more quality. You know, you've got two, you brought in two internationals of... of, of High pedigree, yeah. You know, Spain and Italy. They're not. They're not squad players for those um, countries. They're in. You know, what I mean, like you know, Marina, not so much. But, you know, but like, listen, they're just they're Euro champions. Well, so he contributes. He contributes for Spain. He scored. You know, great goal against Germany. Yeah, he comes on as a sub. He does a job in there. Like you know, he's part of the. You know, it's not about starters now. It's about yeah. that squad, and that's what I think we've got to understand. Yeah. Like you know, we, when people got me on, oh, where's he going to put? I don't care. <laughs> you know, when when we were signing players like Reyes come to the club, mm. I, never, I never heard anybody going, where's he going to play? Like, yeah. yeah, it's great. It's another player to to the totally squad, agree. and and I think that is the the difference as a fan now is that two three year ago we were looking at players to improve the team, improve the eleven. I think now what we're, we're at a stage where we we want to improve the squad. It's going to be very, very hard to improve the eleven. You know, people go, "Oh, you've got you know." Listen, it's just what, on the back of what they've done and yeah. the run they've had. It's very, very difficult. But I what agree. you can do is that when one of these drops out, someone comes in that's a, a, of the same ilk, and that's what we're doing. So it's about for me in really improving the squad, which we've done. But when you look at it, look at all the options at the back. You look at the back. Look at the substitutions on on, on Saturday at the back players, at defensive players, and that's without Tommy Asu, by the way, is not here. The midfield, if you're now bringing Marino, like it looking mm. looking pretty strong. You've got Marino Jorginho mm -hmm. in there. You could probably put Wanyeri, who I think is going to do some party, like, you know, if they're playing, whatever. Then I look up front, it's just not at the same no. strength of those. those it's, it's unbalanced. It's not mm. healthy. So they need to do something. And, you know, a lot of people, and I get a lot of the fans that are saying to me, well, you've had all summer to do this. Why have you done it? We all know that the transfer window sometimes it, it is what it is and it is like the last minute things. It doesn't mean to say you're desperate and all that. Sometimes it means you're keeping your powder dry and I think that's what we're doing. Well, I bloody hope so anyway. Yeah, I hope so as well. Listen, to end, in terms of the actual players that might still leave, Aaron Ramsdale being one of them, Reese Nelson is another one, Kivior as well being linked with room, rumours of, uh, of Serie A. Do you expect to see many outgoings as you do incomings, or do you think that it will be maybe one or two that leave and maybe one or two that come in? I, I, I think obviously Eddie's going to go to Crystal Palace. I think that's looking like it's going to happen. I'm not. I don't know what's going to happen with Nelson. Mm. There's been no real links of him and all that. Like, so they might be just thinking, well, we we stay with him. Uh, Aaron Ramsdale, you know, I, I can't believe what's happening there. Like, you know, um, I hope he does get a club, but then of course you don't want to leave yourself short with a goalkeeper. Because, uh, you know, like Sod's Law, like, you know what I mean? You, you sell Ram and Rams now or mm. put him on loan and then the you know, same happens to Ray. Sod's Sorry. bloody law. <laughs> yeah, so I think if you're going to do that, you've got to bring another goalkeeper in. <coughs> so I, I think, you know, listen, I, I think that Aaron will go like in the last day or so, like, you know, where I don't know. But, um, you know, and, and so I think a goalkeeper will come in and, and hopefully, like, you know, two more players will come in. Like, you know. That's what I'm hoping. Um, just lastly, to rate this window now, what would you rate it? And then second of all, if we brought that striker in, what would you rate it then? Well, that's a great question. At the moment, I'm, I'm saying five because we haven't got what we want out of this window. If, you, if, if it was to finish now, I, I think it would be a very, very underwhelming window. Because when I look at it and I think, right, before this transfer window and at the end of last season, what did you think that we needed? I would have gone a, a top, top central midfield player and a, a striker. So we've got a midfield player, but I don't, I'm not saying he's the one that they really, really want. I don't know, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't, we'll, we'll see. If they get the forward, I think it's got to be eight or nine out of ten because we've improved everywhere in the squad that we needed to, got what we want. 
and we've also got players out like and not spent an absolute fortune because mm. we've sold them whatever. So I think it would be these next two days for me is a, is a massive thing. It's either an ordinary transfer window or one with yeah. disappointment. Disappointing. Or it's going to be a very, very excitable one. What do you think? Well, I'm not going to be as kind because I feel like it has been disappointing and deflating right now. So I'm going to give it no more than a four right now. However, I wanted at the start, I wanted a goalkeeper to come in because I thought Ramsdale was going. I have wanted a defender, which we've got. I wanted a midfielder that we've got. But I feel like we needed a right winger and a striker. And I don't feel like we're going to potentially get those in. Now, if we do, then of course you can start talking about sevens or eights out of ten. But right now it's quite a deflating one. But I absolutely... I'll be. I tell you this now. I'll be shocked if we didn't sign someone. I'll be stunned if we didn't get somebody in in the last few days. So that's why I'm. I'm going with with, with what I'm going with. And I think if we can get that forward in, I do think we've got enough cover in most of the positions. It's just Erdegaard. That's the one. And it's always going to be a, a, a knockdown if he gets injured. But so, who's yeah. going to come in? Wanieri, maybe Havertz might go and drop into that number yeah. ten. But we haven't really got that got light for forward? light. Precisely that. Listen, people, um, let us know what you think in the comments. Uh, make sure you do me a favour. If you do enjoy the content outside the Emirates from me and Lee uh, and you want to see more of it, then please make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.